fish eating your bait, whatever, whatever the case is. is Jesus, I, I didn't even drop one right there. What is going on, people? Welcome to another video. As you guys know, I post Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, and I have been on a hectic schedule, guys, which I'll probably make a video on Friday for and explain what's about to go down in the next couple of weeks because it's going to be insane. I apologize for posting today. Today is Wednesday, and then I'm gonna post Friday. If you guys follow my Instagram, you guys already know that I notified you guys yesterday that I would not be posting a video Tuesdays, Tuesday and Thursday this week, but it will actually be posted Wednesday and Friday. So I changed the dates from Tuesday and Thursday to Wednesday and Friday, but that is just today. Note that is, or just this week. It's just been super crazy, guys. I got finals. I'm gonna be leaving in a few days to drive a 13 hour drive to FLW Nationals. I have to finish all my work and I got so much work, it's ridiculous. If you guys follow me on my Instagram story, you have seen me working and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. If you guys watched the last vlog, which was actually Bass Pro Shops Lottery Ticket Challenge, if you guys haven't gone and watched that, be sure to go watch it. I think it's a cool video. I'm gonna start doing more videos like that. Um, I'm gonna create a whole new series, but you guys know I bought tackle when I was at Bass Pro Shops that day, and today I'm gonna be building a tackle box for all my Senkos uh, with my hooks and weights. Whole deal, it's actually gonna be kinda cool. Let me pour all this stuff out. Alrighty. Let me, let me show you real quick, even if you guys saw the other vlog, what I got. So, I got two packs, Jumbug Sankos. Um, it's like a Blue Flake, Jumbug, or Sanko. Um, another Sanko natural color. Some pink ones. Some black and blue. And also some black and red. Those are all Sankos right there that are about to go in that box. And I also got two packs of little um, crawls. And then some hooks and weights. All different kinds of hooks and weights. Um, I got some inexpensive ones and then I got some premium quality and then some more inexpensive weights. And I'm gonna explain why I bought that here in a moment. But let's go ahead and open this box. I'm gonna cut up some of these things right here so I can actually organize it the way I want. So I'll get back to you once I do that. All right guys, as you can tell, I actually just cut up these bad boys right here. And I have six different colors of Senko, so I'm gonna be loading up one, two, three, four, five, six. I got the two packs of crawls. I'm gonna put a crawl here and a crawl here. Then the hooks are gonna go here, and then the weights are gonna go here. So I have that all organized right there. If you guys are wondering why I'm putting all these Senkos in, it's because one, every time I go on the river, most of the time I'm throwing a Senko or I'm throwing a little crawl. So I'm kind of making like an all-purpose river box. I am gonna to wanna to put some bobber stops in here as well. You guys all know what bobber stops are. They actually go in front of the weight so it doesn't move or slide. I wanna put some in here as well. But the reason I'm organizing this box is because it's gonna be like a quick river box. Like if I'm throwing like a soft plastic or a Texas rig or whatever it is, I mean, 90% of the time, this box is gonna have what I need. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm actually gonna start off with these crawls. So I got some black and red glitter speed crawls. If you guys haven't thrown any speed crawls, guys, it, they catch fish. I mean, speed crawls are just, they catch fish. I'm actually gonna load those bad boys up in here. I wanna show an up close view at the end. I can actually show you guys everything in this box. But one thing I am gonna wanna do is put these things in here straight. This is a little, a little tip where you guys have probably learned here. I'll do it this way. Make sure you throw these in here semi, I mean, you don't have to throw them in here perfect now, but make sure you line them up to where they're not gonna bend because if you just throw them in there and they bend and then they're gonna actually form to that and you're not, every time you hook it on your thing, you're, it's just gonna be all messed up. So don't do that. I'm gonna organize these fairly decent right here. As you guys can tell, boom, one pack of crawls in there. If you guys are wondering why I have one rain of Sankos because I was measuring those out, but got one pack of crawls. I'm gonna load it up with green pumpkin ones. Same thing. The ultra by speed crawl this is a red and black which is perfect for the river that's one of my favorite colors green pumpkin this can work in ponds any clear water lakes or where the water is not super super stained because the river water is fairly dirty so i am using you know june bug uh, black and blue black and red whatever it is but this is just a standard green pumpkin so it'll work in most of the lakes that you guys are going to fish and areas that have clear water where the water is not as you know like chocolate milk i guess you could say because the river is pretty dirty but i want to throw these in here anyways since i bought them that same day 
All right, guys, so we just loaded the crawls up in there. I'm actually gonna put these Sankos right here. These are the green pumpkin blue. Amazing in clear water as well. Not the best in dirty water. Like I said, dirty water, I've been using June bug and everything. God, those just laid in there so perfect. Look at this right here. Oh yeah, that's looking juicy. Yeah, yeah that looks good right there. You guys have been wanting some tackle organization videos. So this is what I'm giving you guys today. We got the double trouble. This looks like it's half green pumpkin and a half uh, watermelon red flake. So I'm gonna put this on a clear water side. This is this is more for clear water. I'm gonna throw these in here as well. This color actually looks very, very juicy. Let's see what we got. I'm about to show you right when I dump them in. Let's see if we can get it perfect. Oh, look at that right there, guys. Yeah, not, look at that. That is something. Mm, I can't even talk. Look at that. Mm. That's juicy right there. We got, honestly, I have two packs of these June bugs. These are 16 packs or 16 counts. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fit these in. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Let's, uh, we're gonna load the June bugs up in this top right here. This is like, guys, if you guys aren't throwing June bug, if you guys are like fishing ponds near your house, most of the time the ponds are gonna have dirty water. You're gonna have, you're, you're gonna need to be throwing June bug, guys. I mean, June bug's just an outstanding color. It's amazing in dirty water. Heck, I've even caught some fish in clear water as well. I really don't think I should do this. This is too many. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we got quite, we got a we got a few up in there. So I'm gonna actually load some up right here. I wanna put those with uh, this blue flex. It's, uh, it's like a black and blue. I'm gonna load this one up in that. That's an <laughs> this is another quick tip so you guys don't mess up. So if you guys are put if you guys are organizing tackle like this, don't go put a pink worm in like a June bugs pouch. Like if you put like a pink worm, like if I got one of those pink worms and put it right there, it's gonna dye that worm, guys. So don't mix these. Try to keep them at least organized by the color. Like if I got a green pumpkin and a green pumpkin red flake, you know that's fine to mix it. But don't go. Don't go mixing colors like crazy. Let's see, what's this one? This is the black and red flake. This is definitely my second favorite. I, I would say first, but it's definitely my second favorite because I love June Bug for dirty water. Like if I had to choose between black and blue and black and red, I would probably choose black and red for the areas I've been fishing. Look at that right there. Mmm. That was a fish. I eat that right there. Yeah, that looks good. Lastly, we got the pink, the bubble gum, it's called bubble gum magic, all right? You got the bubble gum and then you got like a like a white flake in there. So we're gonna load those bad boys right here. And you guys are like, that is just a weird color. <laughs> I don't like to talk about it much guys, but that is, that is, uh, that is the juice. I don't like to, you know, really tell many people that, but I'm not lying, that's juice, like. That's the juice. You've been watching my videos, that's the juice. We're about to load these hooks up in here. If you guys know, I got some inexpensive EWGs. Um, I got some Berkeley ones, those are actually awesome as well. And then I got some fancy old trocars. Look at that, Steven got, Steven got his own little ring. So I was talking about in the last vlog or the Bass Pro Shops video, where I was saying um, I buy trocar hooks for like tournaments or if I'm, you know, uh, try, you know, I just like to buy the more expensive, the more high quality tackle. Trocar is honestly one of the best hook brands out there. They make amazing, some amazing products, some amazing hooks. Um, but I did buy some more inexpensive ones because in the river, there's a lot of mudfish. There's a lot of toothy critters. There's a lot of trees that just eat your bait. I mean, you, you're breaking off all the time or there's just a fish eating your bait, whatever, whatever the case it is. Jesus, I, I didn't even drop one right there. Whatever the case is, and it, I mean, you're gonna break off a lot. So I, I tend to buy, you know, a wide variety of tackle. I have those trade cards in there for, you know, like when I have a tournament coming up because most of the time when I fish a tournament on the Savannah River, it's like last minute. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it's like last minute. And uh, I like find out the night before and I'll end up just fishing it. These are the Berkeley ones. These are, uh, I've been using them for a while. I've been experimenting with them. And honestly, really high quality hooks. The last thing to put in this box, guys. Oh, this is getting good. I gotta get, this is about the way it's looking. It's looking real good. This is 70, 
five pack of 316th ounce weights. Honestly, I don't even think they're gonna fit in here, but we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a try. I missed half of them, but that's okay. All right, guys, holy smokes. I know you guys are jealous. I mean, you guys are just so jealous right now. Look, I mean, look how clean that looks. That is some tackle organization to the max right there. I would say, you know, the crawls throw it off a little bit. You know, that is something a little, di little bit different, but for what I'm using this box for, mostly on the river, 90% of the time, um, it's gonna be easy to grab everything. If I want to switch from a Senko to a crawl, I can do that because if I'm out there, conditions are really rough. It's hard for me to get a lot of bites and I'm throwing a Senko, I might need to switch over to a crawl and try it out. And that's just quick, easy access. It's just one pack in there. But guys, that box right there, that is, that's delicious. That That is juicy. Like big old bass is gonna, he'll eat that right there. But we got the hooks, the weights, black and red crawls. Then we got the um, green pumpkin speed uh, speed crawl. And then moving over to that half watermelon red and half green pumpkin. Then we got the um, watermelon blue flake. And then we got the bubble gum white flake. And then we got the black red flake. And then we got the black and blue. And then we got the June bug. And that is a one juicy box right there, guys. This is definitely gonna be going in my boat. And you guys are going to see this in some fishing videos that are gonna be coming out very soon because I'm gonna have this here and ready. I actually got nationals here. I'm leaving Saturday. So today is Wednesday, I'm leaving Saturday. I gotta drive, I'm gonna be practicing Monday, practicing a little bit Tuesday, possibly a little bit, yeah. And then we got tournament Wednesday. That's when it starts. So I'm gonna have this box on my boat and I'll probably be using some of these baits because this is just organization to the key guys. I mean, this is uh, this is very, very good. But you guys have been asking for some organization videos. Finally got it to you guys um, where I actually built a box. I usually don't do this much. If you guys wanna know something very quick and simple, the only boxes that I put soft plastics in, like if I'm actually gonna take the soft plastics out of their bags, I'm actually just gonna do like crawls or like jig trailers. And I usually have like my crawl boxes, everything kind of neatly organized. But um, I've never really done that with too many soft plastics. I just think it takes up a lot of room, which it does, but this is a box that I'm, I use all the time. So there's really no reason. And I'm just tired of like going on the boat and like digging in the sides and throwing tackle everywhere. I just think like, it, this is so much quicker, it's more efficient and it's just like, I'm not gonna have a big mess in the boat. It's just gonna be a lot easier to use so I can quickly grab this because this is one bait that I use on the river quite a lot out there and I have all the varieties of colors, hooks and weights, everything in one box. But if you guys enjoyed this organization video and you guys want me to organize another box, let me know below what kind of tackle you guys want me to organize. Maybe this could be a new series. Maybe we could do an organization series with Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV. And we can do some new videos. But if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to smash that like button. Be sure to comment below what you guys want to see next. As always, be sure to check out the Bass Pro Shops. Bass Pro Shops Lottery Ticket Challenge video. I'll link that below as well. And, uh, oh yeah, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Mind your motherfucking business, ain't nothing you gotta see Why you all up in my shit when you got more problems than me? Yeah, I'm cool, but you don't wanna see that other side of me And my mobbing deep, ho, I'm a prodigy I know, I know that you been envy, it ain't that hard to see Don't you dare go fix your mouth to tell me that you proud of me Ain't no